strikes me kind of funny and interesting that St. Joseph is considered one of the most popular of all the saints because we know so little about him. He's often even referred to as the silent saint because he never said a single word in scripture, in the, which is the only little bit uh, a source that we have of the life of St. Joseph. But I think what everybody loves about him is he's Jesus' dad, so he reminds us of our own dad. And um, he's the protector, the guide, the, the leader, the decision maker who just quietly does his thing. And uh, a, a, an ordinary guy. And I think that's why everyone can relate to him. So we want to take a look now at some of the images of Joseph and the legends that have arisen around him and the stories and, and what has led him to such popularity. And I'm going to begin with this picture because traditional statues of St. Joseph have him um, holding a staff, walking staff, with a flower sprouting out of the top of it. And where that st image comes from is the uh, proto-gospel of St. James, one of the gospels that didn't make the cut back when they were deciding which were the four most authentic, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, of course. But James had this other one that gave more details about Jesus' family, about that's where we learn of Anna and Joachim, Mary's parents, and, uh, and the, the little bits that we have of Joseph. And the story has it that Mary used to pray every day, wondering who the right man for her to marry was. So many guys in the town of Nazareth wanted to be betrothed to her, and she just didn't know who she uh, was supposed to marry, and she prayed for guidance. And she got the message, I don't remember if it was an angel or a dream, but they said, they, uh, the, the word came that when the man walks by her house whose walking staff sprouts a flower, that's the man for her. Well, the next day, Joseph walked by and his walking staff sprouted when he, right in, when he passed in front of her house, an almond blossom. And almond blossoms were very uh, significant in the Old Testament as symbols of uh, beauty and spiritual beauty and because of their fragrance and also because almonds have a protective shell around the soul. So anyhow, he became associated with that and was always depicted with this uh, walking staff with the almond blossom, which over time evolved into a lily because as Christian art grew and symbolism, the lily was the symbol of purity. And so his walking step, that he has the lily to symbolize not only his purity, but to remind us of his son when he was grown up, said, look at the lilies of the field. They neither weep nor, nor spin, yet they don't worry about anything. God looks over everything in creation and everything in nature. So those two the things are what um, we see the, in this picture here, the Holy Spirit kind of popping out of that lily and reminding us that even the most ordinary person is asked often to do the most extraordinary things. And hard to see, but the, his feet are very rooted in the ground. To, I did that to show him as being one of us. He was fully human, you know. Uh, uh, Mary, we always kind of put on a higher pedestal, but Joseph was just one of us. And I think that's why we all love him. We can relate to him in a, in a very different way. the unknown 